I don't like to craft specific decks for specific story stuff, but I also normally play this game with, like, all the cards unlocked, so I have, like, three or four good archetype decks that I can switch be between, depending on what I need in the moment. So not, like, making a deck specifically to be like, this deck I exists only to beat Uriah, but instead be like, oh, I'm using, like, my Elemental Hero deck, which won't beat Hamon, so I'll switch to, like, my Cyber Dragon deck, and that will beat Hamon. You know, that kind of deal. How could this have happened? I thought all the Shadow Riders were defeated. Everyone calm down. Let's think about this rationally. Your keys flew away too? Yeah, it's very rational. Yes, and we followed them here. I didn't know keys could fly. That's what I'm saying, Crowler. Maybe you should teach a class on it. Chaz, shut up. You're dead now. You're dead to me. Are these the seven spirit gates? The gates are open. And look over there. In the center are the three sacred beast cards. Dibs! Dibs, mine! Dibs on Uriah! I don't understand. All the Shadow Riders have been defeated. How could the gates open? I had a bad feeling about this, but now I have a horrible feeling about this. Our first priority is to get those Sacred Beast cards to safety. Alexis is right, Dibs. Yes, let's get them. Those cards do not belong to you. Who's that? What's wrong, Shepard? Have you forgotten my voice? It can't be. Superintendent Kagamaru? The superintendent? We have one of those? We do now. This dude's in a tube. The time has come for me to resurrect the three sacred beasts. Resurrect them? How did the spirit gates open on their own? Oh my goodness, something in my throat, sorry. Because I built them. I was the one who sealed the sacred beast cards. I was the one who gave the keys to Chancellor Shepard. It was all me. Your eyesight must be awful being in water all the time. What? In order to resurrect the sacred beasts, they need to feed on incredible dueling energies. That's why I had the Shadow Riders duel you. To flood the island with dual energy. And after all those intense battles, the sacred beasts are ready to awaken. As will their power. Their hidden power, rather. Hidden power? The power of eternal life and world domination. The two best hidden powers there are. I can't believe you used us. As if you could have stopped me. I'll stop you. No, leave this to me. Bastion, you lose every duel you're in. I've already chosen my opponent. Many of you have strong dueling spirits, but there's one that stands out. Chumley. Oh, never mind. Solo, I choose you. Once you're ready, we shall battle. All right, so we have to beat this loser three times, and if you lose a single duel, then it's game over. So we are going to save in between each and every duel because I refuse to do all three in a row. I'm not beating the Uriah and the Hamon deck and then it being like, oh, you lost to Raviel because you bricked your hand. Fight Uriah and Hamon again. Because this coward doesn't use all three in the same deck. He does one deck, then another, then the next. All right, chat. Let's do it. Sacred Beast time. So you're ready. Solo. This is not like the battles with the other Shadow Riders. The three Sacred Beasts are too powerful to seal away in a regular duel. You must first make Kagamaru summon a Sacred Beast. You must deplete all his life points after he summons a Sacred Beast during the duel. So, we have to duel him three times, chat. We have to let him summon a Sacred Beast. If he doesn't summon a Sacred Beast in the duel and we win, we still lose. So he has to summon the Beast. You don't duel him and he has all three in one deck. We're gonna duel him. I think it goes Uriah, Hamun, and then Raviel. Or maybe it's Hamun, Uriah, Raviel. But we're gonna fight one deck. He has three copies of the Sacred Beast in each deck. We fight one deck, then the next, then the third. And we have to win all three times. I know Raviel goes last. That's all. I don't remember which is first. I think it's Uriah, but it might be Hamun. Lightning Skyfire, so it's Hamun first. That makes sense. That's the order he summoned them in the anime. He summoned Hamun, then Uriah in the anime, I think. Here we go. Yep, gonna be seeing a lot of continuous spells. Probably gonna select Hamun here. What a shock. I don't like him getting Hamun so early. I think I'm going to immediately destroy the wave diffusion cannon or whatever it's called. This is not a great starting hand for your boy. 
Blast Sphere is actually an amazing answer to uh, to Hamun. He'll want to attack with Hamun every time because of Hamun's ability. So we will want to try and catch Hamun on Blast Sphere. Mirror Force is incredibly lucky and good. Uh, this kind of sucks. I'm going to bet that one of these face downs is either Giant Germ or Nimble Mamanga. Magician of Faith. Okay. He's going to get Wave Diffusion Cannon back. That's fine. Or Wave Motion Cannon, whatever it's called. I don't really care. Wave Motion. Yeah, whatever. I don't think he's going to actually use its effect to deal damage to us. He's going to use it to summon Hamon. He could summon Hamon right here. It's entirely possible. Exiled Force is annoying. Please don't summon Hamon this turn. Summon Hamon next turn. Give me Z tank cannon here. Dibs. We got about an hour in stream. Hopefully we can uh, beat them all. Oh, dang it. I really don't want to lose Blast Sphere or United We Stand here. He's going to make me discard a card. But I also really don't want to use Mirror Force when I know I have to let him play Hamun. I think Mirror Force is more important. Please get rid of Frontline Base. Or over limit. That sucks a lot. Hmm, Hamon? Really? Why? Why would he not have summoned Hamon here? Dare I attack with that face down there? He's gonna summon Hamon next turn. Oh, I forgot I have to pay 500 for toll. Okay. We want to get damage on him wherever we can. Okay, yeah. Now, here's the question. Here's the question. Do I Mirror Force on Hamun's attack? Or do I let him take 4,000? He'll take 4,000. I'll take 20... I'll take 33. He'll attack with Spirit Reaper. I'll... Mirror Force, Summon Blast Sphere, United We Stand. I think I'll win if I let him hit me here. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. Victory music is not. Why didn't Homun's ability activate there? This card destroys your opponent's monster's roll to battle and send it to the graveyard and flip. Why didn't I take another thousand there? Something to do with the uh, Reflect Bounders effect, I guess? Oh, no. Don't discard Blast Sphere. Anything but Blast Sphere. If it discards Blast Sphere, we lose. Anything else, we win, probably. Okay, thank goodness. Can I win by attacking... I can win by attacking Spirit Reaper here, which is what I'm going to do. Fourteen hundred twenty-two limit removal. Yeah. We do it this way instead of risking him attacking me with a monster. If he summons a monster or flip summons that and attacks Blast Sphere with something other than Hamun, we lose. If he attacks with Hamun on Blast Sphere, we win. But if I do this, we win. Don't you have to destroy Hamun? No. He just has to summon Hamun. Unless I'm remembering wrong, but I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure I usually win these by using Magic Cylinder on the Sacred Beast. Yo, 213 experience is amazing. Very good. Easy. You did it, Solo! <laughs> Not yet. The strength of other spirits still flow into my body. Even though you defeated Haman, I still have two sacred beasts left. Oh no, he's hot. Yes! He's transforming. How do you like me now? I am unstoppable. He's young and he's got abs. 
All right, so here's where we go save the game so we never have to fight the Hamon deck again. And now we go beat up the Uriah deck, hopefully. If we can get him to summon Uriah, the Uriah is the most difficult one because you can't rely on face downs because Uriah can destroy them. And you have to let him summon Uriah once. How do you like me now? I am unstoppable! Look at all the wrinkles on it. What is wrong with his nose? What is up with that nose? It's not okay. I will crush you. King of Blazing Inferno. I want to go first. I hate you. I hate you a lot. I still mostly just hate Chaz. We will pro- I don't think we'll first try this one. We will probably lose this one. This is also not a good starting hand. We could actually get around Uriah with United We Stand and Limit Removal. Oh, this thing. And Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness is going to be mad annoying. Him having Breaker really sucks. I'm just going to do this for now. He can't summon Uriah this turn. I hate Exiled Force. I hate this stupid card. So annoying. I should have just summoned Sengen first. I'm worried we're going to lose too many life points before he summons Uriah now. To be able to use enough spells. Another way we could stall for time, I just realized, is... Uh, if we get two Command Knights on the field, actually. Which I may try to do. It depends on if he summons Uriah here or not. Okay, he doesn't have Uriah yet. So if he doesn't have Uriah yet, we have to hope that he doesn't draw Uriah this turn. And then we summon we summon a Command Knight this turn, and we summon a Command Knight next turn. And then even if he gets Uriah, he won't be able to attack. And then we can United We Stand the Command Knight, actually. I hate Anti-Spell Fragrance. There's no point in activating frontline base right now. Th if he doesn't draw Uriah here, we're in a really good spot. And he didn't. Okay, so we're actually in a really good position. I actually favor us to win the duel right now. Depending on what that other face down over there is. It actually really depends on what that other face down over there is. Like a lot. I hate how much it depends on that, actually. That's fine. That still really sucks, but it's fine. I'm gonna take a thousand damage to Graceful Charity here. Okay. I think I'm gonna want Mystical Space Typhoon more than a second X head. Curse of Darkness really blows here. Even if he summons Uriah, he can't attack us. I probably should have activated United We Stand, because if he summons Uriah, we're in a rough spot. Okay, cool. Because he could destroy it. I don't want to have to take the thousand damage, though. I'm going to bait his Berserker into attacking this Blast Sphere to get some extra damage. I think what I want to do is destroy the Curse of Darkness. Oh, there's Uriah. All right, now we're in a really rough spot. I should have used United We Stand. I thought I'd have one more turn. I love Uriah, such a cool card. Of, co of course, four options and he destroys the only one that actually matters. Uriah, attack the face down, please. Oh my goodness, Exiled Force, screw off. Why do you always draw this card right when you need it? Uriah attack the face down, though. He's gonna attack the face down with Uriah. No! Why? Gah! I have to destroy the wall. 
and then limiter removal against Uriah. I have to hope that this stupid Spirit Reaper doesn't, uh, doesn't discard my X-Head Cannon. I gave Uriah more attack there. Oh, now I can't even destroy Uriah, yeah. Oh, we lost, and it's mostly my fault because I should have just used you. No, if I used United We Stand, he would have used the stupid Exiled Force. We lost because of Exiled Force. That's so dumb. Oh, and he gets to destroy Blast Sphere anyway. No telling what those face downs are and how they probably stop me from winning anyway. Anti spell fragrance doesn't matter. I actually wish I had Z tank now so I could summon Jinzo. If we could summon Jinzo, we could still win here. But I can't summon Jinzo, so we don't. Even if I summon X-Head and attack the Spirit Reaper, and then the Spirit Reaper gets to attack, and... Yeah, that destroy that discards Jinzo. Yeah, we lose. That's so dumb. He got so lucky. He got the exact right discard that he needed after or on Spirit Reaper. He got the exact right, uh, he, he got the exact right face down with Uriah. He got the exact right, uh, the exact right draw for, um, what he needed to discard my hand out and have Breaker to destroy. It had Breaker to destroy my Blast Sphere. He literally just had the perfect draw every time for what he needed. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload. I'm not giving him the satisfaction of winning. There's nothing we can do. That was so dumb. That was insanely unlucky for us. It could not have gotten any unluckier. I can't believe that he immediately destroyed United We Stand. If he destroyed any other face down card with Uriah, I wonder if the AI act like I actually legitimately, I wonder if the AI cheated. If like the because you know the game's programming was like, oh, I know that one is United We Stand because it's the game. And so it destroyed that one. Because if it destroyed any other face down, we were able to destroy Uriah that turn, and we probably won the game. Like, straight up. That was so unlucky. And we still would have won if Spirit, if he didn't have Spirit Reaper, but it, which is a restricted card, so he just so happened out of his, like, 10 out of 40 cards he drew, he got that one specifically. He drew Exiled Forced, which I think is either restricted or semi-restricted. If he didn't have that, he wouldn't have been able to stop the Command Knight combo. It, he, like, the, the amount of top-decking luck that he got in that duel was actually insane. He got every single card he needed exactly when he needed it. It was some anime-level nonsense. I don't care about Robin Goblin. Give me a four. I need a four here so I can direct attack with uh, X head. Okay. Well, screw me, I guess. Do I summon X head anyway and just give him United We Stand? I think I do. We have to get him insanely low on life points early so that as soon as he summons Uriah, we only need like one attack to win is the only way we're gonna be able to do this. This Uriah deck is probably like the most annoying deck in the game to like actually beat because you have to let him summon Uriah. If you didn't have to let him summon Uriah, it wouldn't actually be that hard. Like I could heavy storm right here and he would have almost no shot of summoning Uriah before I won if I just hit him with Heavy Storm right now. And honestly, I think I'm gonna Heavy Storm anyway, and then I'm just gonna make us play really, really slowly. Like, we are going to absolutely whittle him down to, like, a hundred life points, and then I'll let him summon Uriah. And then I'll just catch him with Blast Sphere or something. It's like the only good way to win against this deck. Nice. Deserved. After, oh, that was Morphing Jar as well. 
insanely deserved after the hot garbage of that last duel. Then he summons Uriah with like 10k. Doesn't matter if I have a Blast Sphere, because I'm going to see it coming. Like, the thing about Uriah is that you know when it's getting summoned, more so than any of the other uh, Sacred Beasts. Because he has to have three trap cards down, and he has to, uh... He has to have three trap cards down, and he has to telegraph summoning them all. I'm actually gonna Mystical Space Typhoon. 